But I'm currently officially over halfway done this morning on my five-story passive ICF house in terms of putting in the open web floor trusses. It's gonna be 48 feet tall. Uh, one of the questions is, why are you going so tall? Um, uh, well, part of it is if you had views like this, you would too. But the other part is we're doing a multi-generational home. But I wanted to go ahead and do this video on some of the lessons that I've learned in terms of now having done open web floor trusses on three floors. So I've got one set of open web floor trusses down um, above my crawl space, which is technically six foot two. And then uh, the basement level right there, or call it the first level, and then the second level. So let's go ahead and start with uh, some of the lessons learned. So one of the things is when you're doing a DIY house, it's a constant exercise in humility. And even though I thought I've been double checking stuff, I haven't, <clears throat> or I haven't done it correctly because some mistakes have been made. Good news is I have some solutions. So let's go ahead and start with one of the biggies. So above our garage, we've got this steel beam. And uh, it's just as heavy as it looks. So yesterday when I had my welder over here, I'm uh, about to cut the beam, I said, hey, I'm gonna actually measure this twice. And so we just cut it once so that we do it correctly. And I did measure it twice. The problem is I measured it twice from this side and I was supposed to measure it from this other side because the beam was supposed to completely sit on top of that steel post. Now the good news is my structural engineer originally um, I had specced out doing this kind of saddle um, and so we did kind of a combination so it is sitting about an inch and a half on the steel post and then I had some leftover um, of the angle iron and so we went ahead and welded that in so kind of a combo job um, uh, the other good thing is I went ahead and put in this temporary uh, wooden support and the reason why is because there is zero concrete in that wall over there And so I basically created a gigantic stud pack on this side that it is currently sitting on and then I've got a couple of two by fours on both sides. I still need to go up and uh, Kind of shim that in just so that in the unlikely event that there is any movement it stays on top of that stud pack um, and then over here, so I've got this middle stud pack that I created. Over here, I'm not worried. But there's another one of those of I should have done the laser level three, four, five, six times because now I am going to need to do two by fours. So this is a glue lamb beam, five and a half inches wide, 15 inches tall, and it's about to become taller. Now, the only positive thing that I was explaining to my dad is I was like, hey, good news. We're going to actually have full nine foot tall ceilings because I'm actually going to be, I was already planning on doing this, but I'm going to be strapping the ceiling, something that they do in the Northeast. Um, uh, well, there's numerous benefits of strapping a ceiling. It takes a little bit of extra time. But for me, one of the benefits is going to be, is it'll just be one more thing that will help with the quote unquote sound proofing in between the floors because when you have um, a multi-generational living you want to hear you want to see each other when you want to see each other but you don't want to hear each other and so we'll be doing lots of different um, actually I'll just tell you real quick so one of the things is we'll be doing some of the z-track we'll have the drop ceiling we'll have the um, strapping we will have mass loaded vinyl two layers of OSB for the subfloor with the mass loaded vinyl in between them and uh, then we'll also have insulation so between all of that we should not have to hear each other um, uh, for the people that are on top and uh, let's see um, I, here's another item i thought i would actually have the finished garage floor when i ordered these steel beams i thought i'd have that already poured it's not poured yet so i had to put this temporary in to get what I thought was the correct height. Obviously, it wasn't the correct height. Um, but the nice thing is there'll be another four inches 
four to six inches of concrete that's going to be sitting on top of that. And just a belt and suspenders, the structural engineer called out for two of these uh, three-quarter inch bolts 